What is going on guys, Snickle here, and today I have another Platinum Trophy video for you guys. Today I'm going to be getting the Platinum Trophy in the Golf Club 2019 for the PlayStation 4. Now the last trophy that I do have to get is Completionist, which is to complete 30 sponsor goals in PGA Tour career mode. I really wasn't paying attention to these sponsor goals when I started off in the PGA Tour career mode, so I would advise that if you are going to go for this Platinum and go for this trophy, that you kind of look at at those goals before you start playing through because some of them are fairly easy and I wasn't really paying attention to them. So anyway, with all that being said, let's get right into this video. I was live streaming this Platinum on Twitch. I do live stream all my Platinum trophies and various other games over there. So if you want to go check me out, there is a link down in the, in the description below. So again, the trophy we're going for is Completionist, which is to complete 30 sponsor goals in the career mode. Now, there are, I believe, five sponsors that you can get in the game all the way up to Under Armour. You only have to get up and through the Vice sponsor. So you have to get to the Under Armour sponsor, but you don't have to do anything once you get there. So with that being said, a lot of the sponsors are really, really easy. Where I wasn't paying attention was when I was playing through the game, I was just doing one round. Some of the sponsors require you to play like two round, to win a two round tournament, to win a four round tournament. So you kind of have to go into your sponsor goals and see what the game is kind of wanting you to do because they won't really pop up anywhere. You have to actually go into the menus and, and try to find them. So it can be a, a quite annoying. So the last sponsors that I was going for here was two sponsors at once. So I needed to place in the top three or the top 10 in three tournaments using master clubs. And the other thing I had to do was just to win three PGA Tour uh, tournaments. The other part of the sponsor goal that I was at was to get 900 FedEx Cup points, but I had already gotten that with two wins. So... I was really just playing through here and playing with the master clubs isn't really too difficult. You do have to be pretty precise with how you pull back with the uh, left or right stick, however you set it up, because it can uh, draw or fade the ball uh, pretty severely, or you can hit slices and push the ball very severely if you're not pulling straight back and pushing straight forward. So that can be a little bit of a pain in the ass. The rest of the game, trophy-wise, is really not that bad. Um, if you've ever played a golf club game, it's... Run of the mill of Golf Club 2. Golf Club 1 was very, very focused on customization and playing custom courses and doing ridiculous things like putting so many miles and things of that sort. Golf Club 2, there was kind of more of a career mode, which the game was kind of more focused around, but there was that ridiculous trophy for getting the million coins. This game has none of that. It's just playing through. And there is the actual PGA Tour now, so the game is kind of licensed. It was developed by um, HB Studios and published by 2K uh, games, I guess. So, um, there is a little more content to it. There is some like officially licensed gear, like Under Armour and Vice and, and there's some official courses and everything in the game. It's not all custom kind of like how it was in golf club one and golf club two. So that's kind of nice. And I know that coming out of this game, there is going to be the PGA tour 2k games are actually just going to be golf club games now. So that's kind of interesting. And those are coming up, but all in all, if you are looking for a pretty good golf game, there's really nothing too difficult about the game. The only thing that can be kind of annoying is going for the ace trophy because you do have to do it on an official course. And there's not really any official courses that make it really, really easy because in the previous games in Golf Club 1, I believe you could do an ace you could do an ace on an official course, but there was par three courses built into the game. Golf Club 2, you used like Littlebrook Manor. That was kind of like the go-to official course. And Golf Club 2019 um, has Littlebrook Manor in the game, but it's not an official course. So you have to kind of find a different course. As I was playing through the campaign, I just, you know, naturally was able to get hole in one or a hole in one. Uh, I think I only got one. Um, but the really nice thing about the game is you can pick the difficulty that you play on. So you can play on the, the easiest, easiest difficulty. And then you can also set your pin locations and where you tee off at so you can go to like the red tees which are the ones like all the way in the front so it can make the game um somewhat easy but um if you are looking for a challenge it is there so if you do want to make the game easy you can 
but you can also make it challenging if you want to as well. I was kind of in the mid-range. Like, I was playing on the red keys, but I was kind of just playing to play. I wasn't really trying to challenge myself. So um, it was it was very, very enjoyable, and, and, I, and I like playing the game. I love playing golf games. It's like one of my go-to, like, franchises. Not really franchises. One of my go-to... Uh, go-to type of games to just sit down, relax, and, and have some fun. So we are playing through here on the 18th hole. Once we make this, we will complete our round with our master clubs. And putting with the master clubs is the same as hitting anywhere else. You really have to pull the stick straight back and push it straight forward. So let's see if we can save a par here to finish it. And we did not, which is really nice. So let's pull this in. And the loading between like the the um, the end of the match and you know when the the results come up can take kind of some time every once in a while. I'm not sure why if it's connected to the server. So there's completionist, and then we will get this platinum trophy, the golf club legend. So that's all three of the golf club games before the new uh, 2K golf games come out. But anyway, let's take a look at this list. Here it is 100% with a platinum, no DLC or anything. And as you're looking through the list here, you're going to see that there's a lot of trophies for kind of just beating tournaments in the game, doing various things that are going to come pretty naturally, getting certain scores on certain courses, which you'll have to play for the career mode, a few online things, which are really, really easy to do, playing a few different modes, holding the ball out from off the green and regular conditions and in a bunker and then getting a hole in one getting a handicap of 10 or better really easy things and then obviously the completionist trophy so as long as you're kind of paying attention to what you're doing and you're pretty mindful while you're playing through the game you shouldn't really miss anything there is really nothing missable so anyway here's the profile trophy level 44 13 percent got 11,632 total trophies got 7,980 bronze 2,570 silver 914 gold 168 platinums and like I said 11,632 total trophies if you're into that numbers kind of stuff and then here's the platinum trophy itself so like i said i am done golf club one two and 2019 really looking forward to these new 2k golf clubs that are or 2k golf games that are coming out because they basically are the golf club but are, if you are looking for the most simulation based golf games the golf club is where it's at they are very fun games and again i just play them because i think that they're kind of relaxing to play just playing a golf game to me is is somewhat relaxing for some reason. And I know for some people it might be kind of frustrating, but for me, it's just something that's a little relaxing to me. So if I did have to rate this platinum out of 10, I'm going to give this like a four out of 10. It's nothing too difficult. I think the most difficult thing in the game is going to be um, getting your hole in one. That can be pretty difficult because some of the official courses are uh, pretty difficult to play through. And then the other thing that can be kind of difficult when it comes to a difficulty standpoint are or is that one um, sponsor goal to um, place in the top 10 using the master clubs for three consecutive tournaments or or three tournaments, three event, PGA Tour events. So if you aren't really good at the game, that could be somewhat of a of a pain to get through. But those are really the only two things that I would say are somewhat difficult. Holding the ball um, from a bunker can be kind of difficult as well. I forget the course that I used for that, but it can be somewhat difficult. The game always wants you to do like a flop shot out of the bunker. And if you're on one that's kind of level with the green, it's better to just chip it out and you have a way better chance of of holding it out from, um, from a bunker. So those are really the only three things that I would say are kind of difficult and they're really not even that difficult. So I'm going to say like a four out of 10 for difficulty. Time it takes to get the platinum is probably around 20-ish hours. It's nothing too crazy at all. You'll have to play through the PGA Tour and win the FedEx Cup, you'll have to do it at least one time. If you do pay attention to your um, sponsor goals, you should really only have to play through one time. I think my playthrough was like one and a half, but to be fair, I wasn't paying attention to my sponsor goals. So I did have to play a little bit more than um, I think I had to play. So four out of 10, around 20-ish hours to get through. Um, I would say on average might take some people less, might take some people more, but I would say on average around 20 hours. So anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Let me know down in the comments below if you've played the game, if you're looking forward to playing the game, if you're looking forward to the new PGA Tour 2K games that are going to be coming out. Do let me know that down in the comments below. Down in the description below, you'll find links to all types of stuff, my Twitter, my Twitch, other videos like this, my Discord, server so if you want to go check any of that stuff out that is all linked down in the description below like i said if you guys did enjoy the video be sure to leave a like if you've made it this far and you haven't subscribed consider subscribing for more trophy content like this and i hope to see you all around sometime soon